Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and uh, just sitting here drinking my morning coffee. It's like six in the morning. Thought I would do a coffee chat for you guys. It's gonna be current events. Uh, you know what I kind of said in a live yesterday, I see Cali Muscle still streaming through my Facebook feed. I'm not actually following him. It just comes through with this crazy nonsense. Um, and apparently the guy is now doing another water fast. I saw him post yesterday of day two with no food, only water. And I also looked at it and saw him making another rant about watermelon of saying that he, for a while he was drinking no water, that only protein he needs is watermelon. And he's saying that, you know, protein is made of amino acids and that there's amino acids in watermelon and that's all you need. It's like the level of absurdity and not understanding biology or nutrition is extremely high here, right? This is, this is problematic. The guy does not know basic nutrition. And he's got millions of followers spouting this nonsense. And, and what's scary is how many people are just following him down that road. Um, and I also mentioned in one the other day, you know, his people who are following him are completely unaware of basic agricultural science. They don't know how food is made. They don't even know where watermelons come from or how we selectively breed plants or anything else. And it's just frightening. It's frightening the, the level of, of uh, ignorance. And you guys remember, and I want people to be clear, and I've said I don't want to do these anymore because they were really accurate, and I'm not trying to put that sort of negative energy out there into the universe. Uh, because remember I did the whole death watch here on YouTube a number of years back, and then down the road the people started dying who I predicted. And they were scary accurate. And, and I didn't mean it as some magical power to be prophetic. It was looking at what they were doing in the science. You know, I'm like, this cycle, this is going to kill Rich Piana. He died. Like Dallas McCartan, like, this guy will be dead within the year. Like seven months later, done. Within the year, he died. Um, so on and so forth. I put Cali Muscle on there and gave him, it was like two years or three years. He survived. He was the only person who survived it, but he had a massive heart attack made some changes and he survived my death watch and you know I look at that as a good thing of saying okay well hey I'm glad I was wrong for once on one of these and, and you know maybe this guy will will turn some stuff around maybe he'll be a good influence for his audience right that would be a good thing it would be a good thing instead what is he doing promoting crazy absurd stuff, causing more health scares. And, and how do I put this? I'm gonna to try to say this as nicely as I possibly can. I'm gonna say this as nicely as I possibly can. I don't think he has the ability to not do this sort of silly stuff. Therefore, so I wanna say if he doesn't quit, he's gonna end up passing within the year. If he doesn't stop this nonsense. I don't think that he has the ability to stop. I don't think he has it within him. He only knows how to do silly, crazy stuff. It's just his nature, it's his personality. So unfortunately, um, let's just come back over to, instead of saying it's gonna say, if he doesn't stop, if he doesn't change what he is doing, it's gonna be within a year. And we run, we run into the problem of just a crazy hypocrisy. You know, the guy is blaming food ignorantly blaming food for his bad lifestyle, excessive heavy use of anabolics and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and specifically, since, you know, the, the Richard Rodriguez situation, we know what he liked and what he preferred. We know what he took, right? It's, it's not, he had all that stuff he, he asked for specifically uh, that was shipped to him. So we know what his preferences are. And we know why his lipids were messed up accordingly. Uh, so for him to do all that, and then he's blaming, the guy's blaming chicken and potatoes. Okay, the guy's blaming chicken and potatoes. 
for his for his problems and now he's going to cure it with the watermelon and incidentally the guy is still selling he's talking about oh you can't eat all this refined sugar but then he's still making money selling his was it crackies cookies he's still selling these cookies and then claims well you know i've already run into business you can't so it's almost like so when he went anti-gear if he had been running a gear lab like the late piano had been doing Everyone in the lifting world knows that. I mean, if you don't know that Piana was doing that, I don't know where you, you clearly are not connected in the lifting world at all. So, if he had been running a gear lab, would he then still be continuing to do that while then blaming gear for some stuff? Having to claim and tell people, this stuff is what hurt me, this is going to kill you, you have to get off of all of it while still continuing to sell it still doing the crazy stuff to collecting his health to another extreme um, I just don't know what to say <clears throat> I don't know what to say and, and it's not an attack on the guy's success I want to be clear there if someone can be successful in life and they can make money in this world and this economy more power to them more power to them okay But we need to keep in mind this is a guy with you know who, who have, i've even had some beef with in the past he said some pretty horrific things that i'm not going to repeat right technically slander pretty bad whereas in nothing i said about this man was untrue I, I pointed out the chuck basher thing and then chris went in hard on that it's public it's just not it's not slander um, you know, but the, the thing with it is, is the, the hypocrisy, the, the craziness, the absurdity, and he just seems to be hell bent on just continuing to do it and then continuing to put out bad information to everyone else while he's doing it. You know, he's, he is pushing a raw fruitarian diet. Okay. That's harmful. That's, that is not valuable. That's not good nutrition. And the way that he's going about it is himself so extreme that he's just going to end up hurting himself again. He already had that thing where he almost passed out. He's lost tons. He's lost like 40, 50 pounds of muscle already through all of this. Uh, and now he's, and he has almost no body fat and yet he's doing water fast. Okay. This is going to cause further heart problems, by the way. This is, this could probably damage his heart even further. Um, it's, it's just ludicrous. That's all I can call it. It's ludicrous. But it's been a warning. It's been an example. So maybe the good that he will leave in the world will be don't do crazy silly shit like this. Don't follow cult-like personalities who do crazy silly shit like this. Maybe that'll be the good that he leaves in the world. All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.